Hello everyone, welcome to CS for all. So today we are finally starting off with the very first question of the Algo Master Sheet, that is first unique character in a string. But before we head over to this question, I would like to take you into an adventure of hashing because we haven't covered that much of hashing in the introduction part of our STL video. We will be covering hashing in the very next module, that is the hashing module after the STL module. So without wasting any further time, let's get started. And by the way, by the way, if you haven't checked the STL video, it's one hour long video. I have put my entire learnings and I can vouch for that video that you won't get a video better than that on the entire YouTube. So definitely check that out. It will be available up here in the I button. So let's get started. Now. Audio jungle. So as I said, there is a classical map and there is an unordered map. So now let's see what is a classical map. So suppose you have this container here and you have several pairs. So let's say you have a pair here, you have another pair here and you have another pair here. So a pair consists of a key. Let's say K is key and V is value, right? So let's say this is K1 and this is V1. Again, there will be a key. So let's say this is K2 that is a unique key and a unique value. Let's say this is K3 and this is V3 that is a unique key and a unique value. So now we have this three pairs and we want to insert them into a classical map. So what will happen? Let's say we insert this pair into the classical map. Then we insert this pair into the classical map and finally this pair into the classical map. Now in which order will be they stored in the classical map? So they will be ordered as the same way they have been inserted. That is first K1 will be here along with its value V1. Then K2 will be here along with its value V2. And finally K3 will be here along with its value V3. So the order is maintained. So when we will access the elements that is the key and the value, we can access them in order. Okay. Now let's talk about an unordered map. So suppose we again have the same container and the same pairs that is K1 and V1 and then a K2 and a V2 and then a K3 and a V3. Okay. Now let's insert these pairs. Let's insert all these pairs into the unordered map. So let's insert this one first, then this one and finally this one. Now when we will access them, there is no guarantee in case of an unordered map that the pair which we inserted at the very first will be present at the very first. There is no guarantee of that. The pair can be anywhere. It can be at the very end. It can be at the very first. It can be at the very middle. So it can be like K1 here, V1 here. Then you can have K3 here and a V3 here and you can have a K2 here and a V2 here. So unordered map is as the name suggests is not ordered whereas the classical map is present in the ordered form. So let's talk about what are the time complexity of the operations in case of a classical map. So in case of a classical map all the operations that is insertion access is done in log of n time. Okay. So suppose you want to insert n items or n pairs into the classical map that will take you a n log n time complexity. But in case of a unordered map, the, all the operations that is insertion, access is a big O of one time complexity. So if you want to insert n pairs into an unordered map, that will be a big O of n time complexity. Okay, so this is a huge difference between a normal that is classical map and an unordered map. So now that we know what is an unordered map and what is an ordered map, we can head over to the question. So let's see what does the question says. So the question says that we are given a string. Okay, a string is given. We can see that lead code is a string and we have to find the first non repeating character in the string. Okay, so what we can see is we have a lead code here. Okay, so let's go to the Miro board. So let's see we have a lead code here right now what is the first observation from the question what is the first observation from the question we have to find a non-repeating character and the non-repeating character should be present first in the string that is the first non-repeating character now let tell me one thing 
will the frequency of a non repeating character be more than 1 in the string no right the frequency of a non repeating character will always be 1 in the string and a frequency of a repeating character may be 2 or more than that in the entire string so let's see the frequency of which character is only 1 in the string so i can see a l here can i see any l in the rest of the string no i cannot see any l in the rest of the string so i can say this is this l is a non repeating character now let's say we have e here can i see another e in the entire string yes we can see another e that is present right after it so this is not a non repeating character let's go to t can we see any other t in the entire string no we cannot see any other t in the entire string so it is also a non repeating character let's go to c can we can we see any other C in the entire string? No, we cannot see. So this is also a non-repeating character. Same for O, it is also a non-repeating character. Same for D, it is also a non-repeating character. And E, as we already saw, it is a repeating character. So what are the non-repeating characters here? The non-repeating characters are L, T, C, O and D, right? These are all non-repeating characters in the string. And what is the first non-repeating character among all of them? That is L, right? So L should be my answer and we have to return the index of L. So index of L would be 0, right? So we have to return 0 as answer. Now suppose we don't have any non-repeating character. So let's say, let's say we have a string, we have a string M, Y, M, why okay so can we see any non repeating character m it is repeating y it is also repeating so in case we find a string with no non repeating characters we have to return minus 1 so i hope you understood the question so let's head over to the solution so i hope you already tried out the solution on your own so now i will be talking about the solution so as i said the frequency of a non repeating character will always be 1 and frequency of repeating characters will be 2 or more than that right so we can either make a frequency array or an unordered map so i will be using an unordered map here so let's say i have this unordered map and i will be using the string lead code okay i will be using the string lead code so first what do I have? The character, the character is L. So I will be writing L and what is the frequency currently? The frequency of L currently which I can see is 1. So I will be writing a 1. So L is the key and 1 is value currently. Okay. Then I go to E. So what is the current frequency of E here? Current frequency of E is 1 again. So I will be writing E here and the value will be 1. I will go to this E. What I see is E is already present inside the map, right? And I can again find a E here. So I will not be writing a new key. Instead of that, I will be modifying the existing key and increasing its frequency by a plus one because there is another E here. So the frequency or the value will be two here, okay? Then I go to this T. I cannot find a T in the hash map. So I will be inserting a T as a key. And what is the frequency here? Frequency of T is 1, right? So I will be inserting 1 as a value. Then I will be going to C. I cannot find a C here. So again, I will be writing C as a key. And since the frequency is 1, it will be 1 value. Then I go to O. I cannot find a O in the hash map. I will again write it as a key. And frequency will be 1, right? Then I go to D. Again, I cannot find a D in the hash map. So I write a D here. And frequency will be 1. Again, I go to E and I can see that E is already present in the hash map. So I will, I will be modifying the value of E by a plus one because frequency of E here is one. So this will become three. Okay. So now that we have formed our unordered map, what we can do is we can again, we can again run through the string. So let's make a fresh string. So it will be lead code, right? So now what I can do is I will be going through each and every character in the string. So I go to L, I see, I see if the L is present in the hash map. So L is present in the hash map and then I check if value of L is 1 or more than that. If value of L is 1, if value of L is 1, 
I store the index of this L as my answer. So what is the index of this L? The index of this L is 0. So 0 will be my answer and I will break it. I will break the loop from here. Okay. Now suppose, now suppose I am doing the same thing for the string my my. Okay. So let's do that. So suppose I have the string my and my. Okay. So I go to M. I see that there is no M present in the hash map. So I write M and a frequency of 1. Then I go to Y. I see there is no Y present in the hash map. So I go, so I insert Y here and a frequency of 1. So I, then I go to M. I see M is already present in the hash map. So I do not insert a new key M and modify the existing value of M by a plus 1. So this will be 2, right? Then I go to this Y. I see that y is already present in the hash map. So I do not make a new key y and modify the existing value of y. So this becomes 2 here. Okay. Now I will be again going through the string my my. Okay. Now what I will be doing as I said in the previous example, I will be checking for each and every character. So m, I check if m is present inside the hash map. Yes, m is present inside the hash map. And is the value of m equal to 1? No, it is not equal to 1. So what does that mean? That means it is a repeating character. So I cannot execute with it. So I go to y. Again, I check if y is present inside the hash map. Yes, y is present inside the hash map. And the value of y is not equal to 1. So again, I cannot operate with this. Right. Again, I go to m. Again, the same result. Value of m is not equal to 1. Then again, I go to y. Again, the same result. Value of y is not equal to 1. So after I come to this index, that is after I cover all the characters in the string and I did not find an answer, I can simply return a minus 1. So I hope you understood the solution. Now we will be heading over to the code. So first we will be starting off with an unordered map. So let's write unordered map and what will be the key? The key will be character value and what will be the value? It should be integer value, right? That is a frequency and let's name this as basket, okay? Now I will be traversing through the entire string that is the characters in the string and I will store them individually to the unordered map that is our basket. So let's traverse through the string. I could have written this loop in other forms as well. You can write them. And then what I can do is basket of s at i. Okay, basket of s at i will be plus plus. Okay, that is default value of a key inside the unordered map or a map is always zero. So the basket at s of i. So s of i is a character and basket of that character will be that is value of that character inside the map will increase by one. Okay, so that's what this line is meant to be. Fine. Now we will be again traversing. So this entire block of code, this entire block of code will help me to find or to store the value or the frequency of each and every character of the string inside the hash map. Okay. Now I will be again traversing through the string as we have seen in the previous examples. So now let's traverse through every element or every character of the string. So int i equals to zero, i less than s dot size and i plus plus. Okay, now what do we have to check? We have to check if the character's frequency inside the hash map is 1 or not. Okay, if it is 1, we will store the index of this character inside the string and break the loop. If it is not 1, if it is 2 or 3 or something else, we will be going off to the next character. That is, we will continue the process. Okay, so let's do that. So first what I can write is, if basket of s at i okay if basket of s at i is equal to 1 okay then what i can do let's write an answer here and answer equals to 0 so this answer will store the index of the non repeating that is the first non repeating character okay so if basket of s at i double equals to 1 then what we can do is answer equals to i okay and then we also need to break okay we also need to break Else, if it is not 1, if it is 2 or more than that, what we can do? And if the frequency of that character is more than 1, that is it is 2 or 3, then we will continue the process. And one more thing, we need to make a flag. We need to make a flag, okay? So, in case we got we got the index of the first non-repeating character, what we can do is we can make flag as true. If, if we don't get the first non-repeating character, flag will stay as false. So what do I mean by this? If flag remains true, if flag is true, that is 
we have got the first non repeating character and that is present inside the answer the index of that character is present inside the answer so we can just return answer else if the first non repeating character is not found we can return minus 1 okay we can just return minus 1 so let's try running the code okay let's try submitting the code okay so it's done so this code here will take you a time complexity of big o of n that is linear time complexity and what did we see here we saw the implementation of unordered map that is hashing inside this particular question so that's it for today's video i hope you understood the solution i hope you understood the implementation and you got the intuition as well so if you have any queries or doubts you can comment down below or you can directly reach out to us through linkedin or visit our telegram channel we have daily discussion over there so see you guys in the very next video till then stay happy stay healthy bye it's my life it's now or never but i ain't gonna leave